Okay, in this video we are going to solve the device storage problem that most of us are having if you're watching this, which is that you can't connect your Android phone to your computer using a USB cable, which is the best way to do it if you want to transfer files and you don't want to deal with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all that slow stuff. So let's solve it. First thing we got to do, let's go to android.com slash file transfer. We're going to hit the download button. The page might look a little different than it does here, but you just got to download Android file transfer and make sure that you've got that on your computer. You probably do if you're watching this because it takes Android file transfer to generate that error message. So let's just make sure we have it. Next, we're going to leave our uh, phone plugged in. And we're going to enter our phone settings. Now, to do that for me, I'm going to have to swipe down a couple times and get that gear icon. Once I've got the gear icon, it might be different for your Android phone, but we go into settings and uh, from here we have to find USB settings. And that can be tricky. Storage in USB on the Nexus 5 doesn't actually give me any USB options, it's just storage options. So what I had to do, and you may have to do this as well, is go down to About Phone, and then go all the way to the bottom, and tap Build Number seven times. I've already done this, so it's not going to do anything, but if you tap that seven times, it'll enter develop, uh, Developer Mode. Great. So now that I've got Developer Mode, I can see my Developer Options, which I then touch. And here we can turn developer options on, mine are on, and the part that I care about is under networking. And there is the USB configuration uh, dialog option, so let's click that. And it says that MTP is, uh, is connected, but I'm still getting the error message, so I had to toggle it off. So I hit charging, toggles it off, and then let's just exit this on my computer. So we're now out of uh, Android file transfer back to the phone. We're going to toggle this back on. Let's see if that pops open. It did. Okay, so now I've got my uh, Android file transfer automatically popped up and I'm able to access my uh, folder structure within my computer. So hopefully that helped you. If it did, please hit the thumbs up. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass that we have to do this much work to get our Androids to connect. But uh, yeah, hopefully that solved it for you. And if it didn't, throw some questions in the comments area. I'll try to solve them. But uh, yeah, the thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you.